Welcome to part 10 of Mirror's Edge, and more guys for us to fight, even though we're never given a weapon ourselves. Oh my god, there's a lot of orange. I think I might have said that earlier, but I'll say it again. That's a lot of orange? That's a lot of orange. My god, why wear the armor if it doesn't do anything? <laughs> why can't I have a gun to carry around with me? Your punches are strong enough already. Well, it's called don't make me fight armed enemies when I don't have a gun myself. Or at least design You do have a gun yourself. At least design levels better to the point where I can always have an easily usable escape route. I feel like I've heard that before. <laughs> it's one of my major flaws with this entire game. <laughs> And of course, I've, we're in a confined space, yet it doesn't tell you at all about where to go or what to do. I think this is my least favorite part of the game. This warehouse. Ugh. Oh look, I'm no. supposed to get in there, but how do I do that? All right, so what? Uh, all right, so I'm. Um, so the warehouse is like what considered the worst of it, part of the game, for, like for, for reasons by, such as this, me. like you're lost. It's easy to get lost. It doesn't tell you what to do at all. Yeah. And it's not designed around the game mechanics. It's a standard warehouse <laughs> level, and it's supposed to be a free roaming first person platforming game, and this game is more suited to Prince of Persia than it is this one. <laughs> exactly. So everything looks climbable, so you don't really know where you're supposed to go. Well, at least in this one part, you have to, like, climb up a. Who bunch of boxes? Uh, we'll get to that room in a second. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do in here? Is there a button I'm supposed to press? Oh, there's nope. a door I'm supposed to go into. God damn it! <laughs> it's a, such a freaking color switch. <laughs> oh, I think there's a button I need to press. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the basement of the Willow Willy Wonka factory. <laughs> hey, where am I going? What the? What the how, hell? How, how did I slide <laughs> up? <laughs> Alright. A red box. I wonder if I'm supposed to step on it. And of course there <laughs> is on and off steam vents. Of course. Of course. Ugh. Hey, where am I now? Oh, joy, it's this place. What's this place? The box room. <laughs> This place. The box room? <laughs> You'll see. Guess what it has in it? Salmons. <laughs> hey. Up. Okay, there's a whole bunch of things with boxes in it, except some of them are kind of climbable, some of them aren't. And you have to get to the top. Okay, I'm in here, so, I can't see, it's too dark. <laughs> this is shit a child does, climbing boxes. <laughs> ready for boxes. <laughs> well, they're more like containers. Oh, whatever, they're fucking boxes. Well, they're square in a video game, they might as well be boxes. <laughs> they're rectangles. Rectangles! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. it doesn't tell you what's really usable or how you're supposed to do it, so it all looks usable. <laughs> it's one of the, it's one of those rare instances of having too much stuff Freedom. to use. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a little direction like a would be nice because all because when you press the hint button, all it does is point you to the one obvious room you're supposed to get into, and it doesn't <laughs> help yeah. you in any way. So it's like, what's the hint system for? <laughs> Nothing. Of course. Can I jump on this forklift? No. Can you use the forklift? No. <laughs> Why not? This isn't Shenmue, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, can't go in there. Okay, again, You've played this game before. Why aren't you getting out of here? Because this game is so samey, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up here. I don't know why you'd want to remember this. Yeah. And yet there are speedruns of this level. 
No, the speed runs of everything. Just I already mentioned it earlier, but the speed runs of fucking pong. <laughs> <laughs> it still makes no sense. Okay, go up here. Oh yeah, this is how you do it. Okay. I'd imagine them. Ah. The kind of open this like that. It's kind of <laughs> screaming for you to jump on it. Damn girders. Okay, do I... You know, Ooh. I'm waiting for a room to be completely covered in brown so I can make the obvious UPS joke. Oh, well. I don't think there is a room covered in <laughs> so brown. Wait, there is no brown room? I don't think there is a brown room. Fuck. Joke denied. <laughs> this game likes every color except brown. <laughs> <laughs> because brown is realistic. <laughs> <laughs> or so current gen hardware would lead you to believe. I didn't know you could climb up here. Apparently you can. <laughs> the game likes to fuck with you. <laughs> okay, walk. Oh, guess I can't do that. <laughs> you sure? It looks like you could balance on the beam. It looks like it, but fate stopped me. Oh, apparently I can. <laughs> you can. Even though it just <laughs> gave me a cutscene that said no, you The game can't. is so samey, you forgot your own recorded footage. <laughs> the game is so samey, I don't bother to remember where to go most of the time. What's the point of those phones? Uh, the they, like the they like to reenact Hamlet while during their shift. Was that the Autobot <laughs> symbol on the laptop screen? It's that dude's company logo. It's like a dog. I thought it was Autobots. <laughs> The true conspiracy behind this game. The Autobots are building secret <laughs> weapons factories to fight the Decepticons. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hey. You can find a room in a platforming I mean, game. The room is called A. One A could stand for Autobots. <laughs> I was about to say, there's a door right there and you just ran past it. And that was a door I couldn't get into earlier, so... Yeah, <laughs> you can only break it one way. That makes no sense. <laughs> uh, if it could have been smart sense. enough to use a screwdriver, she could have just unhinged the door. <laughs> I mean, one but thing, alas, it'd be one she's thing just a rebel. <laughs> again, it'd be one thing if it was like security locked with like a grate or something, but like a gate or something. But no, it's just a normal door. So we. If you had a screwdriver, you could have some really cool screwdriver kills. <laughs> pretty sure she can throw it pretty hard. <laughs> that might hit them in the eye. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Everything's covered in gate. And all, and, it does is, and, and, and all it does is point me down. No, you fool, you're going the wrong way. And I'm glitching. What are you doing? I'm spazzing out because I'm stuck in a corner I'm not supposed to be in. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a good game. <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> Dice just got lazy halfway through and decided to make a first person shooter, except forgot to give you a gun. <laughs> oh, they forgot that part. Hey, where am I supposed to go? Everything's covered in gate. Uh. Yeah. Got to be a word. No, you don't. Well, if we imagine hard enough, I'm pretty sure we can become Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be make this game so much easier because I could just catch all the bullets. Okay, oh, back up here. Hmm. Down. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go, game? <laughs> oh, you're making me dizzy. Hey. Can I open this door? No, it's not. Oh, it's the ladder. Oh. Ladder. Wow. <laughs> and it's red, so you know it advances the plot. Except it clashes <laughs> with all the orange, so it doesn't <laughs> look red. It's like there's always one part in every chapter of this game that gets you stuck for like an hour. Or at least the later ones. Yeah, we'll be getting to the boat level eventually. Uh... Ooh, boat. What? <laughs> Tons of awesome combat. We another computer with the red screen of death. <laughs> red screen of death. <laughs> I was about to say that. Okay, where am I supposed to go? 
up. Where am I supposed to go? Hmm. Well, it's obvious the, the forklift is quick with jet boosters, so you simply ride the forklift, <laughs> go up to the ceiling, and <laughs> escape the building. Because I try <laughs> to kill them with a forklift. Huzzah! <laughs> What's the point of being able to grab this ledge if I can't climb up it? I'm missing something completely obvious, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know, i never gotten this far in the game. Can't you go under the elevator? Just, just look, just look yeah, for something you're, red. You're, you're supposed to go under the elevator, but it's not red and it doesn't point you in that direction, so... <laughs> oh, it's not red. Well, the game specifically tells you you can use and go in the direction of the red things. Unfortunately, this level is <laughs> fucking orange, so nothing looks red. It all looks orange. <laughs> so, well, she's the equivalent of a, of a human bull. <laughs> she charges after anything that's red. I guess. Hey! Your glove is red, are you just gonna chase your hand around? Huh? Exactly. What is it? He's been doing that for the last six minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, pulls. Climb pulls. See, it's red. Okay, I must be on the right track here. Looking. It only turned red when you wanted it to be red. I willed it I, to be red. And I Hold my really hate changing that. powers. <laughs> Uh, I think Faith has some serious mental issues. She's turning things different colors with her mind. That's an issue? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only in her mind. Ooh. Delusional. Okay, the thing turned red for a second. I must be on the right track. Hapo. Oh. Okay. Where am I supposed to now. swing to? <laughs> There's nothing for me to swing to. You could just that, go. You, you, there has <laughs> oh, to be somewhere you could swing up. to, otherwise, why would that be there? Don't you swing down from that pole? Yeah. On the way in, but it turns red when you go near it again, so... Okay. That's because that's cause they didn't think you were going to be so lost that you were going to try to backtrack through the level. Brilliant level design, Dice. <laughs> The, the elevator went up, so I assume I'm supposed to climb up and use that elevator because it leads to somewhere else. That's yeah. how all other video games work. <laughs> Batman, Batman Arkham Asylum, you just use your grappling hook to get back up. Uh, oh, where's, Batman when, Batman. Where, where's Batman when you need him? Batman. I thought she was Batman. Batman doesn't have to deal with this kind of shit. <laughs> Wherever he... Oh. Okay, no. a what tiny a tiny square I was supposed to fall through. <laughs> thanks for making so that white. A, thanks for making that apparent, Dice. <laughs> this room is incredibly white. It's blindly so. <laughs> My eyes are bleeding. <laughs> Transformers, dogs that rule this. Room, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh oh, hello, door. <laughs> you didn't open <laughs> when I passed you the last time. <laughs> It does look like the Autobot symbol, you're right. Or, or the furry equivalent. What's the point of this hallway? Wait, wait, wasn't there wasn't there a beast equivalent of Transformers? Beast Wars? I don't, I don't know. Beast was it Beast Wars? I can't remember. Those things came out in the early nineties. <laughs> oh look, I had to fall down a hole and use a different elevator instead of the one I specifically pressed in the room before. Hey, are we about to meet the strangest enemies in this game? Yeah. <laughs> what is the big conspiracy in this entire game? Stuff! The cops are learning parkour! Oh no! <laughs> now, God forbid they actually learn to aim. <laughs> But no, so we spent millions of dollars on this parkour training facility. So wait, what's going on here? What's she looking at? They... I guess the police are trying to kill all the runners By because they don't like parkour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the cops are learning to be runners themselves. Yes. To catch so you, they must become a runner to stop a runner. God damn it! The hypocrisy. <laughs> or again, they can just learn to fucking aim. Wouldn't they have to kill each other after everything's done? Aim. That's why I said hypocrisy. 